Okay, here we are in Always Sometimes Monsters, and we've just arrived in Salt City, so let's go meet the locals. There's... yes, and it seems it's mandatory. I told you already, it's your turn to get the wood. If you want to do early morning fry-ups, you gotta share your load of the work. I'm pretty sure I got the wood yesterday, you forgetful old fart. Besides, they're my eggs, so if you want to eat them, you better get to bring in the wood. You're right, it's my bacon. What's the point of bacon without eggs? Forget that, what's the point of eggs without bacon? Hey, you there. Yeah, you young lady. Can I help you with something? Well, yes, actually. I'm Grafton, and this is Colborn. We're trying to get a fire start so we can cook breakfast. Egghead over there seems to think that I should get the firewood. Yeah, and Pigbreath wants me to do his job for him. Would you kindly tell this old cook that breakfast ain't breakfast without bacon? Think he'll get off his big butt and get the damn wood? Or would you rather be honest and tell the senile old bat and let the senile old bat know breakfast needs eggs? Smart him up so he'll do his job for a change. You ask me whether eggs or bacon are more crucial to breakfast? Well, seeing as I, the dark hero, am a guy, well, I guess when it comes to quality breakfast, bacon is key. See what I tell you. Bacon's what counts, so you best be moving. All right, all right. Your tune will change once I get your what? your tune will change once you see your sunny side up. So the story of those two is supposed to be based off of a comedian duo, but I don't know if it's a British thing, a Canadian thing, or what exactly. Where's he going? Oh, just down the main office. See Barry. Runs the park. Has a little shop in there for the essentials too. Should probably go down and check in if you want to rent a space here. Uh, I'm just visiting a friend, actually. Well, heck, you must be heroine. Old Markinsaw has been talking about you non-stop. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Grafton. Say, do you know which trailer this is anyway? Yeah, it's the ugly yellow-looking one right by the trash. Take care of yourself, alright? Will do. Guess there isn't a doorbell. Should I knock? Here goes nothing. Hello, is anyone here? Mark, you home? Heroine! Thank the Lord, here you are in the flesh. Heck, you're all grown up and everything, too. Well, don't just stand there, baby girl. Come give old Mark and saw a hug. No. Dark heroes don't do hugs. It's nice to meet you in person. Heck, I keep forgetting you don't remember me as well as I remember you. Come on inside, I got something to show you. Yeah, it's a bit small, but I tell you, it's got everything a man needs. The kitchen's a little bare, but if you need to fix yourself something, by all means. Your bed's down by the shitter next to the bookshelf. That's Trinity behind you, blowing bubbles. If you like feeding her, I'm sure she won't mind. This is where you'll be staying, here on the couch. I ain't a pull out, but it's not too bad in terms of comfort. Just don't let Trinity keep you up at night. She likes to babble at night sometimes. We're up seeing the couch. I want to show you something. That's right, new place. We're gonna have a dream sequence this night. I gotta say, it looks a lot bigger on the inside. Thanks for having me. And you thought it smelled bad on the outside. Ew. Heck, it's no problem at all, baby girl. Don't even mention it, it's the least I could do. Hopefully, people still get that Star Wars reference. Ah, here we go. Here, take a look at this. That's a photo of us 20-something years ago. <laughs> You're the cutest kid, I tell you, but I don't blame you if you don't remember. We didn't get to spend all that much time together after the early years. Well, it's definitely me in the photo. I wore those overalls half of elementary school. What happened, though? How come nobody ever mentioned you? Couldn't blame him, considering how I used to be. Back then, I probably wasn't the best influence to begin with, but then I got in some real trouble. Got arrested on a DUI, got some extra time for assaulting the officer. It's my big shame, my burden to bear, but you try to make amends for your errors. Still, it was all part of the big plan, you know? It turned me around and set me straight. Help me find the big man in the sky. Speaking of which, I got some work to do up at the church, and I'm almost late. You're welcome to come along if you like. Feel free to check out the town if you prefer. I'm sure you can find something interesting to do if you look. Oh, and please, keep the photo. It means a lot to me. Mark gave you a baby photo. Alright, if I don't see you, I'll meet you back here this evening. Door 
doors always open, so come and go as you please. See you later, baby girl. Okay, afternoon of the 14th day, strip club time. video we're going to have a break here and I'll actually cut to the parts inside where dancers aren't present so see you in a bit okay so here we are in the back room of the strip club we got the job to clean up something or another back here and in exchange for the VIP pass and the reason why I went for the VIP pass instead of the $50 well I'm not gonna spoil that for you Anyway, let's go on in. Alright, all the girls are out front working right now, so you'll have the place to yourself. There's a mop and bucket to clean up the floor. What the hell is on the floor? Make sure you rinse it regularly so things get clean. Do I need to wear a hazmat suit in there? Tell the girls to put away anything they might want to, they want to keep, so anything on the floor goes straight in the trash. You received a trash bag. So I've that bag that's in the can, then start filling it up. Take out the old bag and any others in there, just leave them outside the door for here for now. Oh, I almost forgot. One of the girls said there's something wrong with the lever on the toilet. See if you can get it working again, will ya? To get all that done, you can have your pick of the girls in the VIP room. There's a uniform in the lockers, by the way. Put it on so the girls don't confuse if they walk in. I'll be in my office, so I best not see you sneaking out before the job's done. Got it? Got it. Okay, where's... That's the bathroom. Shit, my thoughts exactly. This isn't a little tiny job. This is disaster cleanup. Well, I'm gonna get sued up here so I don't catch something while working here. Hazmat suit all the way. That's not a hazmat suit. tedious if they tried.
have to empty this one. Okay, it looks like no, unless there's something in here. And Luster Death from Charlie Murder. I'm not familiar with that game. <laughs> Definitely did not sound normal, but we're gonna do this one. That unplugged it. And one of the strippers left her tips here. Yoink. 137 bucks. Wow. Okay, time to ditch the uniform and get our payment. this room he went into? That room spotless yet? Yeah, it's all done. Well, alright then. Alright, you ready to get some VIP treatment then? Give the girls a heads up, they're waiting for you in the room. Okay, I didn't know I had to do that now. And I don't know what exactly they're going to show off, so I may have to cut this. Depending on what it is, I'll actually describe it if push comes to shove. Just go on back there, give them this, and you'll get the works. Received a VIP ticket for your work. I think you're gonna like it. Real classy sort of affair. Real nice. Alright then, thanks. Just swing back here sometime. I like your worth that thick. Might be nice having a new bouncer around. Folks will get a kick out of that for sure. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, and... There's going to be a break here. Okay, here we are in the VIP room, and so far it's not too bad, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show and if I'm going to have to cut anything. Why don't you say hello, girls? Hey there, sweetie. How's it going, darling? Come see me, lovely. Let's have some fun, babe. You take your pick of the girls here. I'll be in back to get you when your time's up. Not really. So, let's see what this one has to say. Name's Sapphire. And she cuts straight to the point. So, is this Garnet, or...? Blossom. And number four is Divine. I'm just going to choose this one. I don't know what's going to happen, so there may be a break here. We'll see. Lead the way, Divine. Right this way, lovely. So, why don't you start off by telling me a bit about yourself? I want to feel as comfortable as possible so we can have a lot of fun. What do you do for work? I bet something really interesting, isn't it? Well, I don't know about that. Usually the truth is what hurts the most. I'm an author. I put words on paper and people read them. Oh, really? That sounds really, really fascinating. It's a hell of a lot better than this job, I'll tell you that. And again, what other job lets you shake what your mama gave you for cash? What about at home? Don't you have a husband, a boyfriend, or something? Sexy little thing like you's bound to have someone. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. And since I'm the dark hero, I may as well. I play the field. Don't want to get tied down to anyone specific. Oh, that's too bad. I think you just need the right person, you know, to be intimate with. So, what can I do for you then? Nobody comes back here just for a chat, and I gotta earn my tips. Wonder if I should end up giving her money back, you know, it's directly. I think it was Ronnie Danger who said his wife gives to the homeless while he gives to the topless. Just say the word. Anything that won't get me fired is fair game. Anything you say.
May as well go for the full thing. Home run, baby. So, sorry. And that's against the rules. And here we go. Oh, someone's here to get me. See you later. That's my cue to leave. Before you go, how about a tip for a girl? I'm trying to pay my way through school, you know? How about this? Here's $50, all in singles. You won't believe where I found it. Thanks for the dance. Thanks a lot, lovely. Come back and we'll do it again sometime. I don't know how much the VIP pass was worth. So, as I was saying before the break, I don't actually know how much the VIP pass cost to know if I actually got a good deal by doing that instead of the 50 bucks, but we'll see. The key thing is you remember those four faces because, well, that's coming up for the next day. I have to try to upload the next part real quick after this one so that you guys don't have to wait too long. Mark's asleep. Let's go ahead and go to sleep as well. And, uh, I still want to see how Casey's going to react. Come on, you're almost done. Just a little bit more and then it's over. No sense quitting now. Shit, that was my last one too. Sam should have another one over on her desk. Markers, highlighters, stapler. Where are your pencils, Sam? What's this? Looks like Sam's got the latest issue of Sheeple Magazine. Looks like they've got a quiz that'll tell you if you're a good person. Quick little break couldn't hurt. I'm the dark hero. Of course I'm the best there is. Working as a cashier, a customer accidentally tells you to keep over $20 in change. Do you let them know about their mistake or quietly keep the cash for yourself? Yoink. You've invented a cure for a life-threatening illness and you're the only person to do so. Do you give the cure away for free yourself or a profit? Ka-ching! Hey, my genius deserves to be paid for. While at a concert, you notice there are much better seats that are completely vacant. Do you stay in the seats you were assigned and move up for a better view of the show? Move on up. Hey, nobody's in them, so I might as well. You find a wallet out in the street, and looking inside, you find several hundred dollars in proper identification. Do you keep the cash for yourself, or make an effort to find the rightful owner? So I guess the option of keeping the money and stealing the guy's identity is not one of the options. Eh, finders keepers. Caught a missed a ride in a shopping center, you notice people looting electronics from a store. Do you join them and take something for yourself, or do you call the police and alert them? Yoink! Between the busted glass and fire bombs, I'm sure they'll have bigger problems. You're in a job interview, hiring someone when they offer you sex in return for the position. You sleep with them and give them the job, or decline and hire them someone else. Usually for those kinds of things, the people are ugly. Couldn't take advantage of someone like that. While repairing a friend's laptop, you find photos of them cheating on their significant other. You tell your partner about it or stay quiet about the photos. If the price is right. Hey, it's not my place to interfere with someone else's relationship. As a famous athlete, you're offered one million dollars to promote a product that you hate. Do you accept the money and lie, or do you decline the offer? Well, from how I've been playing things so far, ka-ching! People are stupid enough to believe advertisements they deserve to be duped. On your way home from shopping, you notice an expensive item didn't get paid for. Do you return to the store and pay for the item, or carry on home and forget it? It's only going to cause complications. While in a casino, the dealer gets distracted long enough for you to change a lost bet before it's taken. Do you tip the scales in your favor or accept what fate's offered you? You cheat the dealer. Well, it looks like I only got one out of ten. I always knew I was a badass. There's not really much to all this ethics stuff, is there? Heh, <laughs> now if I were Sam, where would I put the pencil? No, not here. Maybe there's one over on the table. 
Textbook, beer bottles, takeout container. Who's hiding all the pencils? Huh, what do we have here? Oh, my pocket bell. I wonder if Sans beat my high score in Rasmus Man portable yet. Well, I'm supposed to be playing the badass, I don't want to waste time with this. No time for games, I need to find a pencil pronto. Where on earth this thing be? Dang, it's on this pile of mess. Where else could it have gone? Steel nachos, scrap paper, wad of gum. Where's the goddamn pencil? Huh, what's this doing here? Oh, my favorite issue of gray. Guess I could read it again. No. I don't actually know if that's a reference to something like those two comedians or what, but I'm not bothering. Where the hell could this pencil be hiding? Aha, there you are. You found Sam's pencil. Time to get to work. Can't open my inventory screen. No more distractions until I'm finished. That's final. Well, I've done better in the past, but I'm too beat to go on. Should be good enough for a decent grade, though. Maybe I can get a few bonus marks by dropping off his office tonight and said hey in during class. It's a long shot, but every little bit's gonna help. You grabbed your completed essay. Alright, let's drop you off downstairs in Professor McAllister's office. After all, guess he forgot to lock his door or something. Well, we'll just leave my essay on top of the pile for him. Damn it, I forgot to staple it. Guess I'm hunting for supplies again. What could be in here? What is this, a supply closet? <coughs> Shh, I think she's coming. Put your shirt back on. I'm trying, it's cramped in here. Hold on, I just gotta sit back up. Damn it, don't lean on the door. Drop off my essay. Piles over there. I uh, needed a stapler. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, don't get huffy because we got caught. You were the one who was supposed to lock the door. I was supposed to lock the door? You were supposed to lock the door. It's your office. Yeah, which means you were the last one to use the door. Should I go or come back later or something? No? Why bother? Might as well mark your essay right now and get this over with. Come on over here and we'll get this settled. This is always a bad sign. So, this one's yours. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Alright. Well then. So, how'd I do? It's probably the best work of yours I've seen in a while. Definitely worth at least a 70. Right on. About time I get a decent mark. There's something troubling me about it, though. You and that Sam kid, you share a dorm together, right? Yeah, just at the end of the hall. Why do you ask? Because I've read Sam's essay already, and now that I've read yours, I can't help noticing the similarities. In fact, they're almost identical when you compare them side by side. You're not suggesting I plagiarize that essay, are you? I'm suggesting that they're uncannily similar. I'm more than a little disappointed here, Ruin. If you fess up to it now, I'll give you to the end of the night to write me another one. If not, I'm going to have to fail you out of the class. That's insanity! I didn't copy that essay. I couldn't have copied that essay. I just finished it tonight. You've, only got s You've got the only copy of Sans paper, and she hasn't been home all night. Well, where is she, then? I don't know. She hasn't been home all night. I swear to you, though, I didn't copy that paper. Well, then I've got no recourse but to flunk you immediately. I'm sorry, heroine, but looks like you won't be passing my class. Don't you think you're being a little harsh, Jeff? I mean, we haven't proven anything yet, really. My class, my student, my rules. Excuse me while I go get the paperwork. It's so unfair. Well, 
relax, kiddo. It's not as bad as you think. He's just mad we got interrupted, that's all. Look, I'll work on cooling him down so you've got time to explain. But you're going to have to do something for me in return. What's that? One of my students, Heroine, is down at the bluffs right now and can probably use a hand. She's trying to catch a photo of the comet passing by tonight. If you're willing to go down and be of assistance, I'll see what I can do about the raging bull. What do you say? I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? Stupid hunk of junk. I should probably go see what's up. And I think we have to talk to her and not examine the telescope. I'm glad you finally decided to show up, heroine. I'm starting to worry you changed your mind. You wouldn't do that to me, though, would you? Said I'd be here, so here I am. Well, I'm glad. Look, before we go any further, I think I should come clean about something. That stalker of yours, I know who it is. It's my creepy roommate, who stole my paper and is going to get what's coming to him in the final installment. Spoilers. What are you talking about? My roommate, Sam. She asked me to come and talk to you because she's got a huge crush. Then we started talking, and one thing led to another, and, well, here we are. I just don't want Sam getting hurt. That's all. That's my job. We've shared a lot together, and if one of us is hurting, the other is undoubtedly due. It's funny how life's like that, isn't it? Sometimes when people are really close, they wind up sharing a fate. Your lives are so intertwined that what affects one invariably affects the other. Then again, I suppose that's true for everyone and everything, isn't it? In the web that connects all life, you can't shake one end without disturbing the other. Look at me ramble on and on like that. There's no need to be sorry, it's interesting to talk about. You have a really unique outlook on life. Thanks. Look, there's nobody out here but us. Let's just enjoy this for tonight. We can figure out the rest tomorrow. Yeah, alright. What harm could it do? Alright. Let's see if I can't get this thing working properly. Try hitting it a few times. Hammers work wonders. Nope, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. No sense filling with it anymore. It'll probably only get worse. Just gotta leave it and see what happens. No guarantees it'll work out. So, what do we do now? I guess we wait. Come on, let's sit down for a minute. Are you cold at all? No, I'm alright. The fire's looking really nice tonight. <laughs> yeah. So is the moon. It's nice and bright. It's incredible. Nothing fills me with such stronger feelings. Well, almost nothing. I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, me too. Just feels perfect, you know? Like, however we got here, it was supposed to happen. Do you believe in stuff like that? I don't know, it's hard to say. Is everything just random, or do we get a choice in how life turns out? I honestly wish I knew. Whether it's random or by design, either way, I'm glad this is where we ended up. There's nowhere else I'd rather be, nobody else I'd rather be with. Yeah, me too. So, Dark Hero, your limit's shaking hands. You're pretty shy, huh? I'm sorry? Don't be. I like it. And you have to kiss her anyway, apparently. Wow. Yeah, I felt it too. Stinging eyes of jealousy, sinking into my back like a knife. I assure you, Sam. This is only the beginning. Dawn of the fifteenth day. Ah, good morning, baby girl. Sorry the noise woke you. I'm an early riser myself, and I can't help but start a pot of coffee. Here, let me bring you some. Get off to you yesterday, by the way. I was hoping to see you off at the church, but I guess I missed you. I was exploring the town a little. Didn't know you were expecting me. Just wanted to see what this town has to offer and all, you know? Oh, I hear you loud and clear. Where do you end up going, if you don't mind me asking? Working again pretty late, considering you weren't here when I got home. Where did I go yesterday? And 
had no point lying to a priest. He can't testify against us. Oh, I stopped by the strip club across the street. It's a place called Poles and Holes. You know something, baby girl? I was really expecting better of you, but I can't put you to too much fault. We've all got our own path to walk in life, we know that for certain. One day you'll see those distractions for what they are, and you'll rise above it. I've got a lot of faith in you, baby girl. Enough about that. I want to talk to you about San Bernardino. What about it? Well, it's an awful long way to travel from Dubstown, don't you think? It's important to me to be there, I guess. But have you decided why yet? I'm not judging or questioning your motives. I just think it's something worth asking yourself. I'm here to help you no matter what you ask me and no matter what happens. San Bernardino is a means to something else, but you gotta know what that is. All I'm saying is that I want you to be sure of the direction we're going and the reasons for it. Am I sure if I'm going to San Rodano? Oh, I'm sure. Alright then, you know the course from here on out. You're gonna be calling the shots for real now, but you just gotta follow your gut and things will be fine. Speaking of San Rodano, how are we getting there anyway? No offense, but this trailer does look like it's too road ready. Heh, <laughs> you're right. The old gypsy's gotten a little fat in her old age, and she's none too fit for a road trip these days. We'll be riding in something a heck of a lot more stylish. I've got one heck of a vehicle, you're gonna love it, baby girl. It's the fastest, shiniest, most reliable hot rod you've ever seen. We got a convertible? You bet we do. That is, if we can get the keys back. What do you mean? Well, a couple months ago, I got impounded at mechanic stands. It's that garage and scrap yard across the way, but I'm sure it's nothing a simple conversation can't solve. In fact, why don't you finish up that coffee and meet me there? No sense putting it off any longer, I suppose, right? No, I guess not. Alright then, see you in a bit. And I'm going to stop here. For the next video, we are going to go to stand, set the terms of the race, and... And you'll find out why I went to the strip club. Anyway, until then, I'm the Dark Hero. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.